Twitch is you doing the thing? Gonna... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh boy. Alright. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my loyal specs who are joining me and who are joining me afterwards as well. That's a, a possible thing that you could be doing. So, as some of you may know, I used to work with the company called Cryptozoic Entertainment, where I was one of the lead designers for their Ghostbusters The Board Game 2. And uh, that was like two years ago or some such like that. And I worked really hard on it, and it was really good, and it was really fun, and we had a lot of good stuff that came out in the game. And last October... Yeah, last October, not the one that we just recently came out of, but last October, uh, it came out so that people could get it. And it was weird because there were shipping issues and all that. But I had to wait to actually get what was promised to me in my contract, which was like the deluxe version of the game, all the extra stuff and all that, until just now, like 15 minutes ago, the <clears throat> post office came by. Or the people from the post office came by. And they were like, we have a huge box for you. And I was like, yes, please, for to be giving me said box. So now we've got uh, a huge box. Oh, that happened. That was my, my background there. Half a second here. Let's see if we can't set this right back up. Oh, that was heavy. Just gonna kind of set this like that. There we go. We got this. Or So, we're gonna open this box. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's decently heavy, too. And I'm super happy to finally have this thing. I put so much work into it. I'm really excited. So, let's get started, shall we? Just gonna open this dude up. Cryptozoic did a, a fantastic job of getting it to me after I uh, asked them about it quite a lot. Um... The gentleman who does all of the good stuff there, uh, Deacon, is the gentleman who helped me with it, finally got everything together, uh, and now everything is finally here. There were some issues with it coming through customs, because of course there were issues with it coming through customs, it's full of miniatures and figures and that kind of stuff, and I am to understand that there's some sort of thing having to do with, uh, oh god, it's full of packing peanuts. Uh, but there's stuff having to do with counterfeits and that kind of stuff. So, we have it now, and I'm excited, and I'm going to open this sucker up. Okay. God, it's, it's so full of packing peanuts, and I hate these things. I hate them so much. Okay, we've got small box number one. Well, let's do it like this. I will put the box down here and pick up the different pieces of it. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside of this box. We're gonna pop this thing open. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, sweet. Yes, good. This is the People Busters. No, no? So uh, it has the ally setup and uh, stuff for ally gameplay. This was actually quite difficult to get right because we didn't have anything to deal with artificial intelligences and that kind of stuff. Yes! Yes, it's the real Ghostbusters pack, I remember now. So see here, we've got like uh, the card for the real Ghostbusters version of Peter Venkman. This whole little setup here will allow you to add allies into the gameplay for your, uh, for your, your normal game. You just kind of throw those into the deck the event deck at any time, you could pull one of the alternate reality versions out of the out of the thing. Yeah, check this out! Oh, I'm so excited. Check it, check it. So these are the gate tokens that you've got. So you can take the... Normally the gate tokens are just these little, pla these little flat things that you put on one of the spaces. But with one of these, you actually take it and you put it in the top and it'll, it'll show up through the, the center bit so that you can see what uh, what stream it is. Or rather, what gate it is. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, I'm so excited and happy about these. 
very, very happy about this. You know, I could talk at length about the experience that I had building this game. Um, it was... It was really good. Like, the experience that I got being able to do this, uh, this project, yes, here are the goo piles as well. You can see that it's like a little pile of goo, and when the, then when you flip it over, it looks like a like a popped bubble kind of thing, which I think is super rad. Oh, these are super cool, and I'm really excited about it. And then here are the 3D models of the traps for the, the variant trap rules that people insisted that we have. Oh, 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 oh. What do we got? What do we got? Yes, check it. So we've got uh, Real Ghostbusters Janine. She's kind of doing a little Michael Jackson slide right now, but we'll, we'll be able to fix this with some hot water. Yes, good. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's, it's so good. We've got Winston. Yes, the real Ghostbusters Winston. Check him out. Ah, oh, I wish that the camera would focus right. Let's see if we can't focus. Focus? Anyway, he's pretty cool. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so, I'm so excited to finally have this stuff. So excited to finally frickin' have it. Here we've got Ray, real Ghostbusters Ray. Ha 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 ha, so brilliant. Okay, so the thing about the traps is that we tried really hard to be able to have a mechanic where you use miniatures for the traps. Yes, it's the, the... Ecto Gyro, the the helicopter that only gets used in the the cartoon and the comic books, which is fantastic. It's a little bit bent, but that's how it is. <laughs> but we tried. We honestly did our best to get as much like of of the tradition of Ghostbusters into this game as possible. It's just that in the game that we had, the traps just don't work. Yes, check it out. Oh, it's it's Egon with this stupid, like, swirl hair. God, I wish the camera would focus. Anyway. And then finally, it's Peter Venkman with his ridiculous also hair. Yes, I'm so excited. These are, these are the best. Oh, and all the goo piles and all the traps. Yes, 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 good, wonderful, ha ha ha. And then, of course, this is the tile that you'd use for the, uh, the ectogyro. So, when your characters are in the ectogyro, this is on the table, and you just put them over here, and then you move the miniature around on the board. Ha 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 ha, it's so cool. Oh man, oh man. Oh, 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 we got the main box. Let's see if I can get this thing out. This is not the main box. I thought it was the main box. It's the right size to be the main box, but it is not. So, what have we got in here? Mmm, yes! Look at these figures! Oh, they're so cool! Oh, they're so good! We got Zool and, and Vince Clortho. This is the th throwback pack? No, this is new stuff. Are these resin? Oh, this is the resin pack! Oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so cool. Okay, 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 okay. So, we've got the Scaleri brothers. The, uh, the two brothers that show up in the courtroom. Oh my god, these are so cool. Oh, holy crap, this is so amazing. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with this. Oh, it's so cool. We've got Zool and Vince Clortho, the two terror dogs. Oh, it's so good. Mm-mm-mm. Yes! So excited. Here, yes, we've got the... Oh no, what's his name? Vigo. We've got Vigo the Conqueror, who is the main villain in the second, uh, the second movie and also one of the big villains in, in this game. Oh my god, this is so cool. Yes, yes, we've got the Boogeyman. Boogeyman. Check him out! Oh, these are going to be so much fun to use in D&D &D as well. <laughs> oh, this is going to be ridiculous. And, like, it, it comes in, 
like a, a box with all the cutouts for it as well, so it's going to be really easy to store them. I'm going to put them back now so that I don't break them or anything. Oh, this is so freaking exciting. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so happy about this. I'm so happy I finally have it all. Here we've got... Oh, what's going on? Have I got something going on? I'm getting a telephone call. Pardon me, friends. Hello, I, how are you? Doing okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. That makes my life easier. Yeah, and... You know, it's no big deal. It's just one of those things that's like, if you have to modify something about your appearance or body, that should be, you know, said far beforehand. Yeah, so, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. Roger, roger. I will see them then. Thanks a lot. Good luck. That was my agent uh, for the commercial that I'm doing tomorrow. Which, that's fun also. Is they wanted me to shave my arms and my armpit hair after I had already taken the contract. And it was like, uh, but no, though. Because that's a lot of trouble and I don't want to do it. Oh, these are so exciting. These are so exciting, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna clear off my desk really quick so that I can set this stuff all up and then have you guys be able to see it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I'm very, very excited. Uh, cards. Microphone, you'll sit where you are for a moment. We're gonna move the keyboard out of the way. Up like this, so that it's out of the way. And then, okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna set this up. Oh god, these are so cool though! I am very, very pleased with how well these models turned out. Look, look! It's even Lewis Tully! It's Lewis Tully! He got his own Ghostbuster! We, we managed to do it, and he's actually a fun character to play as well. Oh, it's, it's so good. So much fun. Yes, here... Yes! Oh, these are so cool! You guys- Like, I know I'm just saying these are so cool over and over again, but it's true, these are so neat! Oh, my goodness! Oh, and, and the resin feels real nice, too. Like, it feels real good and solid, and everything is standing up and not leaning over like the, the plastic stuff is. Oh, it's so neat! Ha ha ha! Oh, I wish I could give you guys the the detail, like the level of detail that these things have got right now. Let's set these up kind of like this. We'll move these like this. And then we've got the Ghostbusters here. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Let's see if I can... Yes, check these guys out. Get more. Here we go. That's better. Yeah! Check them out! Got all four main Ghostbusters in their courtroom suits. We've got Janine as a Ghostbuster, who is super rad. We've got Louis Tully also as a Ghostbuster. We've got some of the main, uh, the main ghosts from the second game. We've got... Slimer, of course, because can't have Ghostbusters without Slimer. And here, of course, is Are You a God? <laughs> oh, goodness, I'm so, I'm so excited. Okay, let me put these back really quick before we move on to the next bit. I'm very pleased with this. I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. Uh, let's see. You probably are this one. Yes, good. Uh, you look like you are one of these. This one, perhaps? Yeah! Oh, I'm, I'm 
very pleased with this and very excited about it. Ooh, where do you go? Ah, here you are. Putting these back in the in the places is also a little bit wonk. Uh, you will go in this way, like this. Yes, good. You are tall and skinny. Here we go, the only one tall enough to be that one. Good luck, Yuyasa. Thanks for coming by, I appreciate it. Here we go. Yeah! Oh man, I've got so much more stuff in this box I get to I get to open. Where do you go? Here maybe? Put you back later. It's a big guy, he kinda comes in here with this. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited for this. Finally get it. And like, these are figures that we can definitely use just in D and D, I mean, I obviously the Ghostbusters will be weird to to be uh, player characters or anything like that. But so what do we got going on here? You'll go in there like this. You go in one of these. Hmm. 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 Come back, you. Likelihood is that this one is Janine's, and then this one is Ray's. There we go. Yes, okay. Fantastic. Yes. One more box down. Good. Oh, so exciting. Okay, so this is the resin box. I'm very pleased with this. Resin box down. Next box. This is the card sleeves! Check these out! We got Ghostbuster card sleeves, and I'm so excited for these! Oh, These have all the stuff for the Goo Pile deck, for the, the uh, event deck, for the equipment cards. So good. So good. Okay, 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 okay. What's next? Which one is this one? You are... Just a mess load of traps. Ha ha ha, rad, yes. Mess load of traps in a bag. Fantastic. A bunch of good traps. I like the, the minis. I don't really like the... the so the, the, the rules for traps are an alternate set of rules. They are not main rules. Um, they are variant, and that's fine, because they should be variant, because they don't exactly fit with the the main rules of the game. You can use them! That is what we designed them for. That being said, I much prefer not having to use them. More knives, more knives, more knives. Okay, this should be what we called the throwback pack, which has a bunch of the uh, figures from the previous game in it. Yeah, look at that! Oh, freaking awesome. Oh, this is this is good. Check it out. It's Boogaloo. It's the Boogaloo from the first game. Oh, this is so cool. Ha ha ha, wonderful. Yes. I mean, I'm I'm slightly disappointed that they sort of just get thrown into a bag and all that, but I knew that this is how it was going to be. Ha ha ha. This is one of the zombie taxi drivers. Oh, freaking awesome. Oh goodness, oh man, here are some Cthulhu spawn. Oh, these are so good, I wish that the camera would focus. God dang it. Yes, here is Cthulhu himself. We actually kind of had some issues with Cthulhu. Um, he was supposed to be as tall as Boogaloo, but uh, his his model went further out from the base than it's than we could have it be so we had to reduce him in size until he fit on the base uh because they didn't tell us that we had to but, oh this is so so freaking cool let's see if we can't oh god my room is an absolute mess i don't want to do that room is a mess room is a mess don't want to do it room is a mess house is a mess <laughs> 
I hear all the character and entity cards for it, like this is Janine's. And then of course we've got Boogaloo on this side. He's a class 7 manifestation, which means that he's super buff and is a boss. Ha 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 ha, this is so cool. Oh, yes, good, yes. Oh man, I am excited. Ha ha ha, freaking rad. Good, yes, we've got even all of the, we've got even the, the jerk wad. What's his name? Frick, I don't remember this guy's name. I'll have to look him up. He's, uh, the guy who was working for the opposite team, uh, the Ghost Smashers for a while. Uh, and then, I mean, they figured out that what they were doing was, in fact, not the best way to deal with things. Uh, and, and because of that... So there, so the Ghost Smashers' whole thing was, they would vaporize ghosts rather than trapping them and storing them somewhere. And because they didn't have to store ghosts anywhere, this meant that the EPA, who is still headed by Walter Peck at the time, uh, Dickless the Clown, as it were, uh, liked them better because they didn't have to worry about it. It is the Cryptozoic game! I designed this game! I'm so excited about it! And, like, I'm- I get all of my stuff finally from it. Like, I've got the- this- I, we just opened the throwback pack stuff. Oh, we have the- the card sleeves and everything. I'll lay everything out at the end and try to get, like, a- a good spread of- of all the stuff. Ha ha ha. Frickin' rad. Oh, I'm very excited. Oh, yeah, I was one of the head designers. It was myself and Matteo Wilson were the two head designers for the game. And, and Matteo, I miss working with that dude, man. He was probably the best co-worker I've ever had. I wish that I was still working with him. Okay, 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 what's this next? What is this next? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, yes, it... The Kickstarter released last, last October, but it's taken this long for Cryptozoic to get me the stuff that they owed me for the contract for reasons that I didn't quite understand, but, uh, you know, whatever. So, I have everything now, and that's the good bit. So we're opening this box up. This is... Oh yes, it's the Roylands Guide Pack! Oh, man, check this out! Yes! So freaking cool! We've got Grabber Ghost. We've got, um... What's the eyeball ghost's name? It had some eyeball pun, I don't remember. We've got, um, Ellen Gold, the... the... orphanage owner. We've got Killer Watt. Oh, man, look at you. You are terrifying. Check out Killer Watt, man. And this is the second one, actually. I was involved in the design for the first one, and I was head designer for the second one. This is the second game that I'm opening right now. Ghostbusters, a board game, too. Uh, the main designer for the first one was Matteo Wilson. Um, oh, God, look at this thing. It looks so good. Oh, the Royal Land Sky, the secret, sex, uh, secret societies and sects. It's... I, I am very happy with how this has turned out. I can talk about the problems and things that did go down with the game and the production and all of that, but that's negative and I don't want to do it. I want to just look at the stuff that we've got and just be like, yes, mmm, yes. Oh, it's the Incantatoribus. So, so, so this girl who's in the book right here, I don't know if you can see it properly. Let's see if I can't get it to focus a little better. Can we do like this and have you focus? Come on. Focus. Ah, I can't get it to focus. Anyway, the girl in the book, the Incantatoribus, uh, that is Sarah Miguel, who was the the social media, social networking coordinator for Cryptozoic. And, like, this is her in the book right there. It's so freaking cool. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, yes. Here is Extreme Ghostbusters Kylie. Oh, man. Ah, it's so freaking cool. Oh, I'm... I'm... Like, I'm, I'm ecstatic about this. It's so much fun. 
Oh god. Ha 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 ha. So we've got the extreme Ghostbusters in here. One, two, three, four. We've got the Were Chickens. God, what a what a fiasco the Were Chickens were. There was one guy in the Kickstarter, the first Kickstarter, who was like rabidly asking for Were Chickens to the point where we called him Were Chicken Guy. And we didn't put them in the first Kickstarter. So when we did the second Kickstarter, we had a special hidden uh, stretch goal at 6,000 or 666,000 or whatever the frick it was. Uh, 666 something, where you got the wear chickens out of it. So now we've got three wear chickens that are in the scenarios that you can actually use, and it's great. See, I mean, if you, even if you don't know anything about Ghostbusters, the board game plays well, in my opinion. There are some people that will probably argue with that statement, but, I mean, it's my baby. It's the, it's the first game that I actually have my name on the box. And I'm very excited about it. Super excited. Let's get rid of all this trash. Got all these stuff. Yes, good, yes, yes. Freaking great. Okay. Royland's Guide goes there. These cards go here. Here's a bunch of traps and stuff. I used to work at Cryptozoic. I was, uh, I was on contract with them. So I was like a, a, a contractor. And that's when I was working on this game with them. Uh, once this was over, they did not renew my contract for anything because they didn't need to, I guess. And also because, you know, um, having an actual R&D department is difficult. But it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Yes, here are some map tiles. Yes, yes, freaking great. These are the hotel tiles for uh, the... Actually, is this the one that you can see it in? I guess you can't. Um, but we've got the like hotel tiles here, and then we've got some more uh, just cool firehousey type stuff going on here, which is super, super rad, and I'm very impressed with all their stuff. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Okay, tiles out. Uh, for stuff that I'm designing right now, I'm working on a bunch of freelance stuff because I'm not working with any specific company right now. But I'm looking at uh, some card game stuff. I'm working on a board game that is like a, a sort of evolving dungeon crawler kind of thing. And I'm also working on a bunch of supplemental material for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, which I will try to put up on the Dungeon Masters Guild when I am done with it. In fact, when this package came to the door, I was in the document uh, opening up, or rather working on one of the, the projects for 5th edition. Yes, good. Here is the actual expansion for Slimer's Sea Fright expansion pack, which is quite fun. You get to play as Slimer, like a Ghostbuster Slimer. Uh, you also get to play through a scenario based on the Captain Jack Higgins episode of the real Ghostbusters, where the ship comes into the city and all the skeleton pirates are there and all of that, which is quite good. Yes. Oh, I'm very excited. This is what the back of this box looks like. You can see what kind of stuff we get. There's a unique, uh, mechanic in this one where you can use the the gold doubloons to bounce your proton streams around corners and that kind of stuff which was a super lot of fun oh i'm very happy with this very happy with this okay 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 next another box yeah, I would love to do more board game content on Twitch as well. Um, the problem is I live in Japan, and the board game scene here exists, but it's it's a different scene from what I'm used to. I'm thinking about doing, like, board game design stuff on, on Twitch, seeing if I can't talk about, like, design of games and this kind of stuff. What do we have here? Ah, yes, this is the PvP variant rules that are completely screwed. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway. 
Have I been to Tokyo Toy Fair? You know, I haven't had a chance yet. Every time Toy Fair has come up since I've been here, I've always had work or I've had to go out on like a, a, a commercial shoot or something that day. It's uh, Tokyo Game Show. Tokyo Game Show. No, that's not the one that you're talking about. You're talking about Game Market. Uh, Toy Fair is a thing. Game Market is the one that you're thinking about, where people take the games that they have made and put them there. So, um, what happened with the PvP stuff is they brought me off contract. I didn't work for them anymore. And then they sent their proofs to the, uh, the printer without asking me or Matayo, which is why the rules for the, uh, PvP stuff are completely unplayable because there's some major misprints in the game, and as such, uh, the PvP stuff is largely irrelevant now. Um, which is a shame. Fortunately, we still do get the, uh, the Ghostbusters from their zombie forms in here as well. That just means that we've got more more figures to go with. So we've got all of these guys from the, that one episode of the uh, of the cartoon show. Here we go. Yeah. I don't know if you can really see the quality of their zombiness. Let's do like this, and then see if when we come back it focuses. No, I guess not. Dang. But no, these are, are quite fun. Um, good little good little figures. The rules are fine, I just wish that they would have checked with us beforehand to make sure that everything worked out, because it would have been a very simple just, oh no, these two things are switched, you need to fix them. But no, they didn't do that. And they still haven't fixed that yet, by the way. That's still a thing that, that Cryptozoic has not yet done, uh, which is a shame. I've offered to help them, and they have refused the help? Anyway, it's fine, you know? It's it's good, it's good, it's fine. Uh, so we're gonna put these guys back in this box. Bap, 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 there we go! Okay, this is the PvP box. Next up, what have we got left in here? We've got, yes, the one special, uh, the special variant Vigo. Good, yes, this is the variant Vigo figure. Frickin' rad. Yes, very good. God, he's massive, too. Uh, let's just get rid of this. We have, oh good, this is the big guy. All the packing peanuts, all the packing peanuts. BAM! Ghostbusters The Board Game 2 Deluxe Edition. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Let's see if there's anything else in the box before I go to town on this one. Okay, seems like this is clear now. So, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, I'm excited for this. So here's all the, the stuff on the back that tells you all of the different figures that you get, how many of each that you get. Oh, I'm very, very excited for this. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bust this baby open. <laughs> all right. Get all the plastic off. Plastic, 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 plastic! Go away, plastic. Alright, I'm doing this. We are busting this puppy open. Come on, nice and, and smooth like. Up. <laughs> yes! Wonderful, good. Okay, so we've got the operations and field manual here, which is just the the uh, comic book that we got drawn at the very beginning. 
Uh, I'm glad that Tom Vassell gave this one a better review because the first one I wasn't as involved in. This one I was one of the main ones. Oh, I'm so excited. Actually, do I have my name on the back of it here? Is it on the back of the box? It's gotta be on the back of the box. Yeah, there it is. Right here. A game by Matteo Wilson and Vincent Pritchard. That is me, babies! Oh, so excited! Ha ha ha. Okay, good, yes. Um, but yeah, so we actually... Ha yeah, I know, I was under the impression that it was going to be on the front of the box, but it's not, it's on the back, because neither of us get to be on the front of the box. Um, it's on the box, though, it's on the outside of the box, so if you find it in a store, you can look at it and see that my name is actually on it, which is the important bit. But, so we've got, uh... Yeah, we've got the, the instruction book that includes the comic at the beginning. Co comic? Ah, comic in the middle, I guess. Tells you about all the stuff that's happened and, and that kind of thing. Should have been at the beginning, like the first one was. I don't know why it isn't at the beginning. Oh. That's because at the very beginning, uh... It's only story. It's fine. I mean, you know, we did... We did have the writer for the uh, the current run of the Ghostbusters comic books actually write it for us. Ah, it's so cool. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so we've got that out. Here are all of the... <coughs> Pardon me. Here are all of the map tiles. Oh god, there's a fat stack of them, too. Oh, so neat. So nice. Big stack of map tiles that we can use to build out these scenarios. God, I don't remember how many times I had to print new copies of these and then paste them to, to poster board and then do playtests of all of that stuff. We've got this huge stack of, of entity cards and scenario cards. You can see that there's the two versions of the character, the slime version and the proton version on each one. These were supposed to be two-sided, where it was going to be the slime version on one side and the proton version on another, but we couldn't do that for some reason, I forget why. I don't remember why we couldn't do that anymore, but in any case, we switched it. Ha, <laughs> freaking great. And then here's all the minis. Oh, there's so many layers of minis, and it's very, very good. Oh, God, yes! Look at all the cards for it, too. Yes, so these are the equipment cards, the goo pile cards, the event cards. Mmm, this game has got so much more depth to it. Uh, in terms of the production of the game, after the design and playtesting were finished, finished, uh, we could have used another several months on it, but you know. Uh, after the design and playtesting were finished, they took us both off of the contract then, and it was not us anymore, which I think was unwise, because that's how you get games printed that have major errors in them and everything. But you know, uh, again, that's just my two cents. Uh, I was some of, uh, some of the models for the poses for some of the Ghostbusters, though. It's quite good. Okay. Yeah, all right. Are we taped? Yeah, we're taped. That's what it is. I'm gonna pull this down. I'm trying to get this tape out as well. So much tape! There we go. Good, yes. Wonderful. During the time that I was working on this one, I was also helping with... I wasn't technically on this project, but I was helping with some of the... Uh, Adventure Time Card Wars stuff as well. Okay, so here's the first layer of minis. Ah, uh, with my lighting set up right now, it's not very good. But yes! Very excited. Very excited. Okay, second layer of... Oh, yes! The, uh... 100 millimeters freaking tall... Lady Liberty statue. Check this thing out. This is a vehicle that you ride, so you actually put your Ghostbusters up on top of it, and 
it moves around the board, which is fantastic. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I do wish that these fit together a little better. But I'm not going to look a, a finished game in the mouth, I suppose. Good, yes. And, ugh, we've got some of the big ghosts. These are very, very good. Yeah, okay, so like the, the big boss of this game, uh, at least one of the big bosses, the big guy, is of course the Washington Square ghost, who was the biggest ghost in the second movie, size-wise, which is pretty cool. We've also got the other mini-bosses. We've got uh, Janos in his weird nanny form, which is, is very good. And then, of course, there's the, uh, the main version sculpt of Vigo. So here's the main version, and then here's the alternate sculpt version. Ha ha ha, yes. Very excited. Very excited. Oh, and look, they actually, they put a place in the, in the, the stuff for us to put the extra version. Brilliant, that's actually well done. Good job, you guys. Okay, okay. Set this guy up to be the direction he's supposed to be facing. I guess he does go in this way. Okay. Uh, we've got all the dice. These are the glow-in-the-dark versions of the dice as well. So we've got... There we go, yeah. You can see the glow-in-the-dark versions as well as the normal versions. They've got the uh, Ghostbusters 2 symbol on them. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yes, awesome. And, oh my god, it's so cool looking! Holy crap! So we fought and fought and fought to have this thing be included in the game, and they tried to change it like 20 times on us. But uh, this is the boss of the Lewis Tully expansion. It is the Washington Museum of Art that has been taken over by slime. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it's massive, too. Look at this thing. It's huge. Freaking awesome. I am very pleased with this. I'll have to, like, force these things together and get them to stick and all of that. But, oh, this looks amazing! Oh, I am pleased with this! Oh, man. You go back in there. You go back in there. Here are all of the colored bases for the, uh, the ghosts, such that you can do things like make them, uh, shadow or hive or venom. Venom? Poison? Anyway. Those are there also as well. Oh, this is very good. I am pleased with this. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna try to see if we can't, like, we're gonna put all this stuff over here for right now. We're gonna set you here. Do I even have enough room on my desk to display all of this stuff at once? Let's move my move my water for a minute, move my empty teacup that I should have cleaned up. There we go, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna flick this down like this, this will be the Seafright expansion. We're gonna move the mic back just a little bit, which might make things a little bit more difficult to hear, but this is how my life is. I don't know what happened, I think something, like, damaged my microphone recently main layer. Here's the map stuff. We're gonna put Lady Liberty back where she belongs. In like this. Dum 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 dum. Okay, okay. This is quite good and I am, I am pretty pleased with the stuff that I now have. All the cards go over here. Map tiles, you'll go down at the bottom main game. You can go here. Okay. 
This is gonna... Oh god, this it's so much. It's ridiculous. It's so good. Okay, okay, okay. So... Here we've got the Slimer Seafried expansion, under which is the PvP stuff. Then we've got the uh, expansion that comes with the Roylance Guide. That's all of the uh, stretch goal monsters. And the uh, extreme Ghostbusters. We've got the first layer of the normal minis. Let's take this top layer off so we can actually see them a little better. There we go. We've got the first layer of minis. This is going to be all of the, uh, the plasms that are there. In addition to all of the normal ghosts. And there's the Ecto-1A! Yes! Bam! Ecto-1A. Ha ah, ha ha so good. Brain Matters, X-Cops, Titanic Ghosts. Good, good, yes. Okay. Here's where the cards and the, the, the event cards and such and the character and ghost cards go. We move this one. We have the second layer of stuff here where you've got the hyperplasm. Oh, you are stuck in there. Good. You've got the Scolari Brothers. Hang on. Hyperplasm. Scolari Brothers, Vigo, uh, some of the Street Creepers. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Then down in the bottom bit, like we saw a minute ago, that's where we're going to have the, uh, the museum and the bases for the minis. Over here you can see some of the extra stuff that we've got, like the gate tokens. It's these guys here. So, God, where are my gate tokens anyway? I'll have to look for those in a little bit. Surely they're here somewhere. Anyway, you'll take the gate tokens and you'll actually put them inside the hole on the top, and it's, it is very cool to look at. In addition to the gy the Ecto Gyro. Nah, <laughs> so freaking great. Oh, uh, wonderful. And then, of course, we also had the special resin pack that had a bunch of the cool minis that are resin figurines. So these are a higher quality sculpt, which is soups cool this back. And then finally we had the throwback pack that has a bunch of the ghosts and, and ghostbusters from the previous game. Oh man. Yeah, that was... I am pleased with this. This turned out very good. Oh goodness. Okay. Well. So I have all this stuff now, and I need to sort it out and buy some containers for the extra minis that don't have places in the boxes and all that. All right, I forgot about the, the card sleeves that also go for each of the different kinds of cards, which, oh, so freaking cool, man. Oh, God, I'm so very pleased with this. But anyway, yes, so um, I've done the unboxing. It was, it's, it's pretty good. It's got a lot of the good stuff that I wanted. Um... We, there was still more stuff that we wanted to put into it that we couldn't because we didn't have the space and time and all of that. But we managed to make what I consider a pretty darn good game. And I will fight anyone who says otherwise. No, I, if you don't like the game, that's fine. I understand that there's a lot of reasons why people wouldn't like the game. Uh, that being said, I did make it. And I'm okay with it. It's turned out favorably. I'm putting it as, as a, a, a good time. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming and watching. I love how this has been like a 45 minute long video, but uh, it'll be really good. Thank you guys again very much for coming and watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed watching me gush like a stupid fanboy all over the stuff that I made. Um, if you, I'll do, or maybe I'll do some more content with this in the future show like how the game is played and all that but anyway thank you guys again so much i really appreciate it uh if you're watching on twitch then you know that you can click the follow button and it'll let you know when i'm doing more stuff most of the time i play stupid video games but uh on the occasion i do other stuff with this as well um if you're watching on youtube afterwards then you know what to do with the socials down in the description box as well as the like and subscribe button and all that and such as well oh goodness 
I'm very excited. Okay, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh man, thanks a lot for coming and watching, you guys. Bye!